Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I know I haven't got you a tractor-related video in a while. I promise you're going to see a lot of them um, starting today. Behind me is my BX25. And behind that is little Brindley. Say <laughs> hi, Brindley. <laughs> you nut. Oh, she's a knucklehead. Okay. What are you doing? You're playing with mommy? Yeah. Okay. So, today is a day that the kids are home, wife is home, I'm home. I'm gonna try and make a video. Expect interruptions like that. I hope you don't mind. The kids are crazy. But, back to the BX. Okay. I've had this tractor since uh, 2014. So, I've had it for a total of four years. Uh, and it's been a wonderful tractor. Absolutely wonderful. I put about 300 hours on it. I bought it used when it had 43 hours on it. <laughs> You're nuts. And I've had absolutely no problems. It's been terrific. Now, I got a call from the Kubota dealership the other day. My tractor is ready. Almost. <laughs> Uh, it should be ready on Wednesday or Thursday, so I'm going to go and pick it up, and we'll make a lot more tractor videos, um, you know, during through that process. So the whole trading in, the whole picking up, and and you're just going to have to stay tuned and see how that goes. And there's Mama. Do you want to be on the video? Come say hi. Here, Brindley interrupted. Hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. That's okay. She's doing fine. We're keeping it real. What do you got? Mom needs help pulling some weeds. Are you going to go help her? You got a turtle? Quack, quack. A duck and a turtle? Quack, quack. Mommy. And there's Brielle. Tell everybody hi. What do you got? Lammy. Lammy and? Baby. And a baby. Okay. What's your baby's name today? Lala. Oh, Lala. Oh, okay. And look at what they her, her babies have different cool. names frequently. That's kind of crazy weird. Okay. Sounds like knuckles ball. cracking. It's going to be one of those days, guys. So bear with me. Uh, what am I doing with the tractor in here? I am demodding it. I am taking all of the mods off of the tractor that I possibly can or possibly want to in order to get it ready for a trade-in. So that's going to include... Kindergarten! What are you doing in the garden? Kindergarten. Oh, kindergarten. You're going to be in kindergarten this year, aren't you? You're not going to be in kindergarten. Well, she in kindergarten right now. She's a, oh, you're pretending? You're playing school with mom? Yeah. Mom's a teacher? Yeah. All right. And what am I? The, you're Mick Ritter and the principal and the gym teacher. I'm the principal and the gym teacher. And Mick Ritter. That sounds like some important jobs. All right. Bye, Mick Ritter. Bye, girls. Have fun. Bye, Mick Ritter. Hi, Friendly Bear. <laughs> There's never a dull moment around here. Back to demodding the tractor. Okay. All right. There was a there was a post on Facebook not too long ago about the lights that I have. See this little pigtail, this little plug-in. Uh, those those belong to these lights that I have magnetically stuck onto my cart. Okay. All right. They simply come off here if I can do this with one hand. They plug into the tractor. They work fantastically. Uh, the reason that I did the plug-in is because I knew I was going to be getting a new tractor and I only, I only use those lights in the winter time because it gets dark around 4 o'clock in Minnesota. It really does. It's ridiculous. It gets dark around 4 o'clock in the winter, January. Um, so when you're plowing snow, you usually need light. So that's what those are for and I like a lot of light so those are going to be transferred to the new tractor somehow some way I don't know yet I've still yet to figure out that whole wiring system um, these lights are probably going to stay on the tractor uh, and I'll tell you why because they are wired to an auxiliary fuse panel then they are on these switches now I did have to drill three holes in this dash for those switches so I'm gonna leave those switches there and I'm gonna leave those lights there now, when I bought this light, it was about, I think I paid $40 for it. That was, that was a few years ago. 
the the same light and get for about 12 bucks okay LED online eBay Amazon they're cheap so whatever I'm, I'm not gonna mess with it it can stay on there it's not worth it for me I'll just get a new one um, some other things that are gonna stay on obviously the auxiliary fuse system uh, and I just have some LED light bulbs in here that I want to get out I got some well, I did get some I got some decals uh, Paul Short sent me those so I'm gonna try and salvage those and save them if I can use my uh, use my uh, heat gun or a dry or a hair dryer or something try to peel those off and save them and hopefully I can transfer them to the new tractor I really like those um, the three-point system I'm keeping so that's gonna come off this toolbox I'm going to probably leave on the tractor because if you see now this is this only applies to the BX25 not the BX25D except maybe the first year that they came out but the BX25 has an angled roll bar system okay a ROP system uh, and I'm not a big fan of the angle but that is what it is now because of the angle I had to drill my holes in this ammo box at an angle so the ammo box would lay level and it's worked out really well uh, very happy with that whole system I am probably going to leave that with the tractor maybe I don't know I'm still thinking about that one so I've got wheel spacers on the wheels those are staying with me I'm not gonna spend money on brand new wheel spacers so I am going to take those off and the mower deck I'm keeping so that'll stay with me because that'll transfer onto the new yeah. tractor and here's Brielle yes Brielle do you know where the sprinkler is do I know where the sprinkler is yeah. oh that's a good question I really do not know where the sprinkler is look keep it. looking check the shed out okay so with all of that said with all of that craziness uh, you know, enjoy the show for today. <laughs> uh oh. What are you doing? I'm gonna get you! Ah! <laughs> Alright, we'll start with the simplest demodding uh, to begin with, which is going to be. Hi, Brindley. Are you driving? It's going to be uh, switching out the LED headlight bulbs. I just got to release this clip very carefully, trying not to break it because that would be. Is it hot lightning day right now? Is it hot lightning day? 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 It's not super bright, but it's bright enough. Um, and really the only reason that I decided to switch these out is because the light bar that I have, you know, is that bright uh, white LED light that maybe you see a lot of now, I guess. And um, I wanted the light to color. I didn't want the yellowish light that these halogens provide, but uh, I am going to put these halogens back on here. Zoom, 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 zoom. And they will go back to original. Uh oh, I just remembered I need to. Yeah, maybe I can make this work if I bring this forward a little bit. There we go. That'll work. What are you doing? Oh, you turning all the switches on? Okay, don't turn the tractor on, okay? Okay. This little thing, the steering spinner, this has been one of my favorite mods get yourself one they're under 15 bucks I'm sure you can find one at your dealership or go on Amazon they're awesome I use it all the time you will not regret it get one
All right, this cord that's just wrapped around my FEL control is simply just a cord that I use for my um, my tank sprayer that I uh, spray for weeds. Um, I did have intentions of hooking that up and making that look a little bit neater at one point, but then I decided on buying a new tractor and those plans kind of changed, so I just kind of kept it simple the way it is. So that's obviously going to stay with me. Uh, so I just need to unhook that here and unhook it back there. If I can get to it, I'm pulling the battery out. Which I think I can. Maybe. There we go. Just pulled hard. <laughs> All right. So they don't need that. Okay, because the three-point system is the same model, they haven't changed it at all for on the BX23S. Uh, this three-point system, I'm keeping. Uh, it is it is actually one of those additional accessories that you purchase with your tractor. Most dealerships will throw in a free three-point system, but because this there's nothing wrong with this. I am going to hold on to it. So, uh, instead of them throwing something in free for me, or throwing in a three-point system for me, uh, they've done a couple other things. They've given me a pretty good price that I'm very happy with, so I didn't feel like asking them for a thrown-in three-point system. So, this is coming off. Okay, and that's how I do it. I haven't done that for a long time, so I was kind of forgetting the order, but it's a lot simpler than I thought. Um, yeah. Let's see. If you pull, if you flip this up and pull this little retainer pin, this goofy thing out of there, this will come off and you can keep everything together as is without having to pull a ton of pins and uh, put them all back together so it it really keeps it simple so that's done simple all right for the next uh, d modification i am going to attempt to remove this decal uh, the decal came from paul and kathy short I've had it on here for oh, a year and a half or so um love it want to keep it want to put it on the new tractor got my heat gun and apply a little heat to it I've got a nice little straight edge here that I'm going to try to peel it off very, very carefully. Hopefully none of the paint comes with it. I doubt that it will. Um, and yes, I do have something to put it on temporarily while we, while we get the new tractor. I actually kept this little piece of, it's almost like wax paper, you know, that came with the sticker. Yes, I, I held on to it. Okay. I save everything. Here we go. Okay, thankfully we were able to remove the stickers, as Paul calls them. And we'll be able to put those on the new tractor, I hope. Now, if you don't know, WD-40 is a solvent and will remove some adhesive residue, hopefully without a problem. I just kind of rub that in there with my fingers a little bit, let it sit for a little while. I hope that it removes it. 
It might not. Hi there, Brielle. Are you coming out here to play? Yes. Oh, good. You're going to sit on the tractor and play? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's coming right off. Something really different. What's the different? The handle is gone. The handle is gone. The, Where is it? The steering knob, isn't it? Well, I'm going to put it on the new tractor, so I took it off the old one. I, you're not happy with that. You Keep don't like that kind here. of change, do you? Keep it on here. No, nope, I'm going to put it on the new tractor. But how do you get it on here? Well, I, there's a couple couple bolts on it that I turn, and it tightens it up. All right, I was able to swap out the headlights. I was able to take the steering spinner off. Able to remove the decals without even leaving a scratch. I mean, look at this hood. There's hardly a scratch on it. Just some very, very minor surface ones. Nothing deep. Um, so, you know what? Olsen Power and Equipment, they are getting a good used tractor to sell. So, happy with that. Um, I did put this grip tape down here. Obviously, that's going to stay. That's a nice mod, though, if you want to um, preserve that uh, edge of your, your operator's platform. That really helps a lot. Uh, one thing that I am going to leave, I decided that I am going to leave those LED lights in there. Uh, only because I remember that I swapped them to be LEDs because I have that strobe light from my strobe system inside there and I thought that if it was a regular incandescent bulb it might generate enough heat to melt that. So. I am going to leave that in there. Uh, I'll, here, I'll show you what it is. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. LEDs here and here, and then this little light right there is a strobe light that if I turn the tractor on and flip that strobe light on, you can see it flash. So, you know, it's, it's just stuck on there with some adhesive, but it's really close to this light bulb. LEDs don't generate a lot of heat at all, so when that's on, you know, they're, they're close together, but I just, I didn't want it to melt it. I don't think it will. That's just a precaution. So I'm just going to leave it with there. I remember these LEDs being very inexpensive. I think I paid $5 for a pack of four or something, so they're just going to stay the way they are. And the new owner of that can enjoy a strobe feature. <laughs> now I got to get the loader on and the backhoe on, bring that into the garage, make sure everything is greased and ready to be traded in. And um, the mower deck also needs to come off along with the wheel spacers. So that's going to happen soon. I forgot to point out, check out my cup holder. Did you, I give it? You guys didn't notice that it doubled at a pen, as a doubles as a pencil holder and a marker holder, so you can do artwork while you're sitting on the tractor. Okay, so there's a future mod idea for you.
two inch spacers um, made out of they're supposed to be made out of aluminum um, I can't recall where I got them I think I got them through Brotech so check out Brotech online uh, they've got a few things um, I paid almost two hundred dollars for them uh, there's probably better deals to be had out there for these things but uh, um, if you're on any kind of a slope or your whatever kind of terrain that you work on if it has any kind of a slope inclines you know these really do make a difference this is probably one of the easiest and one of my more favorite mods because it keeps me safe um, and there's a few spots where I mow where it gets a little bit out of an angle and before I had these I didn't like to do it and now it's uh, it's not a problem to go on those slopes uh, you know I don't hesitate anymore you don't have to lean way over to one side of the tractor these two inches you know for a total of four inches wider uh, really makes a difference so if you don't have these you know go ahead and get a pair um, they're great they're wonderful keep you safer make you more a little, make you feel a little more comfortable thing I almost forgot was this thing this is for my snowblower and it holds those hydraulic lines in place when I have it on so I'm glad I did not forget that yeah the Kubota factory probably charged me a hundred bucks for one of these things so good thing I remembered just about wraps things up here. I've taken all of the different modifications off of the tractor that I want to keep and try to implement onto my new tractor and I've left some pretty cool ones such as the uh, the light bar up there um, in the reverse lights and the strobe light feature uh, along with let's see if somebody wanted to put those magnetic lights on that I plugged these into I left them a couple pigtails to wire those up so whoever gets this tractor is going to get a good machine this has been well taken care of it's been uh, I've kept up on all the maintenance with it it's uh, been out of the sun it's been clean it's had all the services that it's needed and I've never had a problem with it not a single drop of engine oil or or transmission oil no hydrostatic oil has ever dripped from it it has been a good machine no problems at all so if you are looking for a fantastic yes I will say this is a fantastic BX subcompact tractor go to North Branch Minnesota this will be on their lot very soon alright stay with me and uh, subscribe to the channel and there will be more videos as far as updates as to me delivering this, trading it in, getting the new one, bringing it back, and then I will be showing you all of the features of my new tractor, so I am excited to do that. Ah, yes, finally. <laughs> all right, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, give me the thumbs up, leave a comment, and uh, we'll talk to you later, everybody. All right, thanks for watching, and God bless. Thank you.